Good morning, beautiful morning again. No clouds in the sky, a cold wind. Okay, I wear good clothes, so it's no problem. Yeah, last time was quite su successful. Um, yeah, one of the two uh, Roman minims I found was in a pretty good nick, so I'm hoping that I will find uh, yeah, similar ones today again. Would be very, very nice. So wish me luck and uh, follow me. So first find of today is a spindle whirl. Quite modest in uh, design, but um, looks very old to me. Yeah, they are not so uh, common on my fields here. Um, I only found one more uh, a few months ago, so uh, this is a special find to me, for me. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, here again, one of these, yeah, mysterious fragments. Um, you can definitely see that uh, it was part of something. Uh, it's not only a scrap that looks like this randomly. <laughs> so, but what it was, I don't know. Maybe you have any I ideas what it could be and if uh, would be nice if you write a comment about it. Yeah, look what I just found here. A beautiful designed object. Definitely um, broken here. It's somehow continued here in this direction. Um, and on the other side you have a clip. So you could clip it on a belt or on a garment, I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting, but uh, I don't know what it is. So if you know it uh, for sure, it would be nice uh, if you could uh, write a comment and uh, also guesses are uh, appreciated. So yeah, tell me what it is <laughs> and I will definitely document it with my GPS device here. It's very important to do it. Um, so that the archaeologists can find the spot where I found it, just in case it is something. So yeah, that's important if you're having uh, permission here in Germany. So, moving on. Next find a musket ball in beautiful condition. Yeah. Very good in shape. So to say yeah nice so I just found a very well preserved uh, lead seal it's not a very old one um, but uh, yeah I will show you look uh, you have NFD I think it's uh, written there NFE uh, NFD I'm sorry and the number 21 yeah a lot of these I find a lot of these here on, on this field Oh, very nice find here. Look at this. Yeah. See um, the holes here? Yeah, and turn it around. You have something like a hook. So I, I think, or I can imagine that this is something that has to do with garments or clothing, you know, 
maybe some uh, clothing mechanism of some sort, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is what I can imagine what it is. But if you can prove me wrong, please do so. But uh, I like it very much, this object. Look at it, beautiful. Yeah, here we have um, an unused uh, lead back seal again. In one of my previous uh, uh, videos, I had one of uh, these before and I explained, um, yeah, that it's quite interesting to find these uh, not squashed by the pair of pliers uh, where you close the seal and uh, make the imprint, you know. And um, yeah, this is the second one on, on this field here. Nice find. So, something is in here. Give it gave a good signal. And uh, I thought you are interested in seeing what it will be. It's still in there. Still in there. Ah, okay. We're coming closer. Ah, look. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's a Roman minimum. You know, if you keep finding these, your ear learns uh, <laughs> the signal, you know, signal recognition. And uh, I thought I give it a try because I'm I was feeling quite confident about the signal, you know. And here you have the result, it's a Roman linen. I won't rub it and I won't uh, even take the toothbrush. You will see the details uh, right after this clip. Yeah, if there are any details. Lovely find. Next find is a big lead back seal. Unfortunately, uh, the imprints are uh, quite weak, you know. Here you can see LE and the next letter is an R, I think. But uh, yeah, for a seal of this size, um, quite poor result, but a lead back seal anyway. So, nice find. Wow just found a Roman silver coin and you can see how what a good condition what a perfect condition I mean unfortunately it's broken as, as you can see and uh, it's not my fault first I thought please yeah uh, I hope I didn't uh, cause that here but um, the edges are not uh, silver shiny, so I think um, the plow did this, you know. But look at it, beautiful Roman silver coin. Oh. Beautiful. This is the first silver coin. I uh, uh, found on, on this field here. Um, the other um, Roman coins were all made out of bronze, you know, but this one uh, is silver. Wow. And uh, even it's not cleaned up, you know, you can see details and 
see how good in shape it is. Perfect. I'm buzzing now. <laughs> Oh, look at the button. <laughs> it fooled me. Yeah. Yeah. Thought another Roman minimum. So here's my roundup for today. Um, here we have uh, two buttons. Then we have uh, objects um, I can't define right now. I assume that this one is. Uh, a closing mechanism for garments or I don't know so here's the lead section we have a spindle wall and we have lead back seals and these uh, four back seals here are uh, not squashed you know they are like um, before use you know so they are quite interesting and then we have another bronze object I can't define a musket ball and uh, here of course uh, the Roman minim and uh, the beautiful but uh, unfortunately damaged uh, silver coin so I'm uh, pretty happy so nice day so here's the trash of today um, yeah like um, the last time I can't complain about the amount um, this the field uh, uh, that I'm detecting at the moment or better to say um, yeah the part of the field I'm detecting at the moment is uh, quite uh, silent you know not many trash signals so yeah I could even increase the sensitivity a bit because uh, yeah it's not that uh, trashy yeah another successful day um, comes to its end um, I found one Roman minim and this uh, beautiful uh, Roman silver coin. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how I can clean it up. I think it will be very nice. So I'm very excited to come back here. Um, this field has a lot to offer and I'm pretty sure that I will have some more fantastic finds on this field. And uh, I would be uh, happy if you could follow me and uh, stay tuned on my um, channel you know yeah <laughs> see you next time happy hunting all the best to you and bye bye